Hello. <laughs> Here I am again. Most unexpectedly, I might say. I sat down this morning, Saturday morning, all ready to do my um, channeling with the Federation of Light, which I haven't done for a month. So I tuned in and I was quite excited and uh, I was going to ask them about the EES system, which I spoke about in my last video. And just for people's information, there is the link to that EES system site um, in the description box of my last video. But um, and I did put that at the end. Please see the link in the description box. But clearly many people didn't watch me to the end. <laughs> no, they, they missed that. So um, uh, th that will be there. But truly, so I sat down this morning and I was quite excited, you know, I'm in a good mood and, and all that. And really, it was a struggle. I just, you know, for those who don't know, when I tune in to the Federation of Light, how that works is I tune in and then I get on my computer and I go, hello, <laughs> how's it going? And then telepathically, I have the response. So I type that in as it's happening. And then I say, oh, and da, 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 da. And they say, oh, and, da, 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 and it's all typed down. And then I record what I say. And I send it off to the lovely Joe and he records the conversation and the part of the Federation of Light and bless him, he then mixes the two and therefore you get those um, videos of the conversation. So, Because I think some new people are a bit um, confused, is, is Joe the being? <laughs> well, Joe's being, he is a being, but um, he is playing the part for them, should we say, being the voice of, and my God, doesn't he do that well. So there I was sitting down, I think this just isn't flowing, it's not happening, and I was quite disappointed because I'm raring to go. And I thought, right then, soldier, if you're not going to show up, <laughs> like as an, a sort of, just off the cuff, I thought, well, I'm going to just do a video instead because I'm in the mood and I'm going to see if White Cloud will come through. So this is what I'm doing. Most unprepared. Um, and there we go. Um, so I don't know what I've got to say. It, it, <laughs> I do have to say something because it makes me laugh because some people put in the comments or they write in to say, you know, that this, I seem to be rejuvenating. I seem to be looking younger. <laughs> Not so. I have this little thing up on my computer now, which many, many people have. You can tell if they've got one, because if they're wearing glasses, you see the reflection of this circle. So there's this circle of light uh, clipped to my um, computer. Many people know of it. People, loads of people use them. Um, and they're for the lighting, really, a bit like the movies, really, they're lighting. But they do help <laughs> in, um, you know, for me, I look at myself on the video, I think, good Lord, it looks like I've taken my face off, given it an iron and shoved it back on. <laughs> because I'm telling you, let me tell you now, in real life, no such thing. I look so much older. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. What else can I be? You know, as for you young'uns out there, appreciate your youth. Because let me tell you, as you get older, you look in the mirror and you go, who is that? You know, oh, it's me. But when did all when did all that happen? You know, when? Why? You know, and when did I decide to grow a moustache? <laughs> you know, ageing is not an attractive trait. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, thank you for your lovely kind comments about all that, but really, no, I am not. If you were to see me in real life, um, you'd be going, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, she looks a lot older in real life, bless her. 
So I'm just saying that should you ever come across me. I've, I have had people, you know, sometimes people might sort of, <laughs> go, and I see people looking at me and they go, excuse me, are you Blossom Goodchild? <laughs> and I go, yes, I am. And they go, oh, hello. And I follow your work or something. And I think they were looking at me unsure because <laughs> I look so much older in real life. <laughs> Oh, you've got to keep laughing on that one, haven't you? Dear God. <laughs> I've got I've got another funny little funny story about oh, I'm on a roll, you see now. Years and years ago, which is even more worrying, I um was going to a wedding and you know, in Australia you don't wear tights or stockings, it's too hot, you know, you just have brat tanned legs and you know moisturize them a lot if you're showing your legs <laughs> anyway for whatever this reason was i was wearing these uh, tights i was going to wear these tights for these this wedding mm, there's the car next door starting up i don't know if you hear that like living outside a racing track sometimes um and so i've lost my train concentrate blossom so i put these tights on and and pulled my, as I looked in the mirror, I thought, oh, a bit wrinkly around the knees. So I went to pull them up, and it was my knees. <laughs> they were the wrinkles. <laughs> I like, oh dear, and that was years ago. So you know, God, it's so, you know, I don't know. When you're doing yoga, don't ever do a downward facing dog. You know, where you can see. All, all the tops of your thighs and everything because you look and you think oh, wh where did all that sack of potato skin come from i look like one of those cartoons that people draw of old ladies with all the skin <laughs> cascading down <laughs> oh dear you just have to rise above it you just have to keep laughing um, because you don't, I remember my mum always used to say to me, you know, although she was, you know, just coming up to 80 and everything, that you feel the same inside. And you do, don't you? And, you know, when people sort of say, oh, that old lady, I'm like, surely they're not talking about me. <laughs> yes, I'm in that category. The oldies, as uh, we're called in Australia. <laughs> anyway, there we go. As you can tell, I'm in a really good mood today. The sun is shining and all is well, apart from the fact that I couldn't get a channeling done, which I was really looking forward to doing and getting it up as I used to do, you know, on a Sunday. So with that, I'm going to see what White Cloud um, might have to say. Hopefully he's got something, you know, really profound <laughs> um, to bring forth so that I have something to offer, because I like to do that. So there we go. And thank you so much to everybody for missing me so much. So many of all your comments and emails were, were just so lovely about how much you've missed me. And I thought that was really, really nice. And I found it very encouraging and very heartwarming. So thank you to all in, in all the comments and everything for, for saying so. Okay, on that note, let's see what the old engine has to say, shall we? Let's do it. Okay.
Yes, she still has the cough, but it is getting better. Very warm, jovial welcome to you, my friends. Indeed, is it not wonderful to have Blossom back in peak form of her, uh, her being, if you would like to say, even though the physicality still has a few uh, leftovers, uh, if we would say, uh, within herself, there has definitely, definitely been a shift, and uh, Blossom is aware of that also regarding uh, the uh, grieving of her husband, Mr. Goody, that that has moved into a more comfortable uh, position, dot, 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 for now. Oh, she is saying, My dearest friends, who have chosen to reside upon this planet Earth, Mother Gaia, at this exceptionally exciting time, you are experiencing that which has not been encountered before. You came down here, as you know, to assist in the transformation of your planet. To assist in the transformation of an entire planet. Think about that. It is not as, uh, oh, we are making a difference in our little town because we are building a new park and transforming that piece of land into somewhere that children can play, that is wonderful in itself. But we are not talking of that. We are talking of transforming, transitioning through, changing your world into a new one. A new world for you and all who come after you. To wake up in a world that feels entirely different from that which you are residing within at this stage. Some of you have the pleasure of waking up and feeling raring to go, like Blossom this morning, in a good mood, etc. But let me explain to you, my friends, that feeling is probably on uh, not the bottom rung, but something like that compared to the joy the absolute joy within your being that is to come. The true you. The true essence of who you are residing in the human form yet without all that has been uh, put upon you in ways to dampen you down, which I have spoken of many, many times. Blossom is nodding uh, along with me in that uh, she feels 
now that she understands the reason for the uh, initial trying of uh, the communication with the Federation this morning, what she did get through a little bit was to say that the difficulty was that she had moved up a notch, if you like, in her vibration. Therefore, they, uh, it was adjusting with the communication with the Federation to this uh, higher resonance with each other, if you like. <sighs> And now she is feeling that she got it, that I understand why she felt and straight away, right, if I cannot uh, communicate with you, I will try uh, the next best thing, which is of myself. But now she is feeling, aha, aha, as if it is that uh, she is aware that perhaps, and she will give it a go, <sighs> the energy is very strong, that the Federation of Light would now like to come through and speak, <sighs> which is not something that happens all the time, <sighs> uh, the energy is getting very strong, so we will allow uh, that to now uh, take its place, with so much love, so much love. <sighs> Welcome to you. Each soul that is here to accept into their being the energies which we have to offer to you this day and due to the upliftment in the vibration of this friend of ours this vessel we are able to use you are able in this way to receive through us a higher energy now that we are able to bring through to you in this way. Feel us, feel yourself in this higher vibration of love itself. Breathe in as you accept these energies into your being, as you are uh, able to visualize or to visually encounter that for blossoms being there is much 
of this taking place because of her body not being used to this higher energy that we are able now to bring through not just because of blossoms uh, upliftment in frequency but because of all the uh, higher energies that are filtering through at an acceptable pace into your planet to assist in lifting the whole. And do you see, dearest souls, that by this taking place, that which is of lesser light and does not desire at this time to let go of that which does not serve and move into a higher vibration of light for themselves, that they, those that are in that position, are finding it most uncomfortable to the point that as we have said that much of who you truly are has been quashed due to energies and much uh, chemical integration through foods, air, etc. from those who do not understand the joy of the highest love. That has been affecting you. Yet now, duality, the tables have turned, the light, the higher love that you are rising to and that which is coming down to meet you and integrating is causing for those who do not wish to come along for the ride to feel quashed also to know they are defeated And blossom can feel an overwhelming surge of loving energy as we say those words to you. We have often spoken to you the words, the light has won. And now, from here on in, dearest souls, choose to not just hope this is so, but to know deep within and accept deep within your being that this is so. And within that acceptance, there shall also be yet another transformation within your beingness. Another uplifting scenario within you that will take you to an even higher position of self. You cannot deny this, dear ones, can you not? You can feel it within your being. You can understand more now 
that knowingness of truth that we speak of. You know deep within more and more your truth. And within that truth lies the understanding, the acceptance of reasoning of why you came, why you are here. And you are doing with great aplomb that which you came to do. We ask in as through of love that you take a few deep breaths and you look into the eyes of Blossom and through them you see us. Let us begin. It is time for us to take our leave. We are so grateful for this opportunity to let you know in this way how much you are loved by us, by love. Until next time, Is it that you are wondering who is going to speak? Is it to be Blossom or myself? In a way, it is both of us at the same time. And many of you will understand of that. And my friends, as you looked into the eyes of Blossom, whilst the consciousness of the Federation of Light was within her being. What did you see? What did you feel? I am assuming you felt more love. But that love is coming from within side of yourself. The love 
that you are. The love that you are choosing to shine out upon your planet, be you sitting by yourself or be you amongst a crowd of people. You come to the planet at this time to shine your light and your love. And you do this to the best of your ability. Always. And when you are floundering a little and feeling a little under par, do not beat yourself up. Just know that in a little while you will feel differently and you will rise up once again. You are doing magnificently. All of the beings from elsewhere in realms of such light and love, agree with me on this matter, because only the strongest of the strong, as we continue to reinforce, can be on the planet at this time to do what they have to do. And you are doing it so remarkably well. Never ever, ever doubt this. The doubt does not serve. The confirmation that you are doing so well within the self serves greatly. It ripples out. Know your strengths. Know your capabilities. Know that if sitting by yourself or amongst a group of many, that it is not just that group that you are capable of sending your light to and within. It goes beyond and beyond and beyond and beyond because love itself is infinite. And you are sending it consciously out to the whole. Love. Love. I love you. And I ask that you feel this love from me to you. It is my greatest desire that you do so and then you feel the difference that it is making. Because you have made that difference yourself. You are super heroes. To infinity and beyond. You are capable of miracles. Prove that not only to yourself but to many. Dear souls, this unexpected, yet not so much from my point of view, little chat has been most enjoyable, as it always is. To be able to reach so many through Blossom in this way brings indescribable joy to my being. It is indeed an honor. To be with you in this way. So for now.
Until next time, I bid you adieu. We give thanks to the Divine Oneness for allowing this miracle to take place. We ask always that we may remain humble in order to serve and to receive, and that we may continue to walk boldly as the light and the law. Adieu, my friends. Adieu. Well, tickety boo. How lovely. As White Cloud was talking, and then suddenly I felt a change in energy. I thought, oh, 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 this is why it wasn't happening this morning when I was so ready to do it. It's because they wanted to come through in this way, which is great. I'm all up for that when they can, when whatever, when it suits. So there we go. How lovely. Well, do have a nice weekend. I'll try and get this up either later today or tomorrow. And um, gives Joe yet another week off. <laughs> hey, Joe. <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, take care. Carry on doing as well as you're doing. And so until next time, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>